In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called finding the vertex, focus, directrix, and axis of symmetry of a parabola. We're given here the equation of our parabola, x plus 1 squared equals negative 2 times y plus 4, and we're asked several questions, but I always like to have a sketch as we go so that I can follow along with what's being asked for. And I'll start by taking that equation that we were given and writing the standard form directly underneath that, because from here I can see that negative h equals 1 in this equation, so h will be a negative 1. I can see that negative k equals 4, so k will be a negative 4, and I can see that 4p equals negative 2. I can see from that that solving for p gives me p equals negative one-half. So our vertex is the point hk, which will be negative one, negative four. That was the first thing we were asked for. So I'll label that on our graph. I know that my parabola in this form is going either up or down. And since my p value is negative, that means it will be going down. And the p-value of negative one-half tells me how far away the focus would be. So our focus is inside the parabola. It's going to be directly below the vertex. And this distance is p. So that distance is one-half, negative one-half because it's down, but the distance is one-half. And if I took our vertex and moved down half a unit, then my focus will be negative one, negative four, and a half. So we have found the focus negative four, negative four and a half, or negative nine halves. Next we're asked for the directrix, and I know that the directrix is the line that is p units away from the vertex. Since our parabola is opening down, our directrix will be horizontal, which means it'll be y equals and the value of this line is half a unit above our vertex. So half a unit above y equals negative 4, this would be y equals negative 3 and a half, or negative 7 halves. And then lastly, we're also looking for the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry will go through the middle of our parabola. This is going to be a vertical line, so x equals, and again, it goes through that vertex, which has x equal negative 1. So this equation would be x equals negative 1 for our axis of symmetry. 